Hello, investors and traders. In today's segment, we'll be looking at the U.S. industrial moving average, the Dow Jones, I'm really referring to. And we'll be looking at how low will the Dow go, because currently there is a downward trend, why that is there, and how much further can it go. That is the part of this discussion. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, I highly recommend you to do so. Very briefly, this risk warnings and disclaimers in front of you. Now, allow me to bring the MT4 platform in front of you. On the daily time frame, we have three different moving averages. Firstly, it is your 50-day simple moving average in pink, and then you have your 100-day simple moving average, followed by that, is your 200 a simple moving average now as you can see from the chart that the price formed is sort of a big double bottom right over here the first one be being over here and then the second one being over here the price started to drop gradually from there it broke the 50 day simple moving average after some challenging to uh, time or after two challenging days and then even on the third day, the price did come back, try to come back above the 50 day simple moving average, but it failed and it retested it in the 200 day simple moving average. And then the battle is, the battle continues from there onwards and it is still on as of today because the market is unsure where the prices are really going to go from here onwards now if we flick the time frame if we go into a bigger time frame such as your weekly time frame and then really see what is happening from the weekly time frame perspective what we really see is that we had two consecutive weeks or back-to-back -back weeks of losses this particular week the price has made a lower low meaning a lower low in comparison to the previous week and of course a lower low in comparison to this particular week the week of the 8th august the 15th as well so what it is telling us is that despite the fact that we do see some green color coming back over here the probabilities are the price may continue its momentum, its movement from its current price point to here. Unless, of course, the price, what it does is if it breaks above the highs of this particular week. Because if the price moves back up, then the likely chances are that we are more likely to face this all-time high once again. So what we are really looking at in terms of the price action is two possible scenarios. Number one is the scenario where the price is more likely to come and touch that support zone of 33,612 to 33,847. Now, the other scenario where we are also focused on in terms of the price action is if the price breaks above the highs of this week then we are likely to see the continuation of this trend and that means the price is likely to challenge the all-time high in other words that 35446 sort of a price level now if we look at the rsi the rsi is trading to the downside it is away or has eased off from its overbought area but it is still quite far from reaching that 30 mark which is considered as the oversold area now the last time we saw the price coming into this area was february last year even when the coronavirus really hit the economy and everything happened and ever since the price hasn't really visited that area although more recently the price has been trading at the rsi has been trading in a downward trend and likely to come into this areas in the coming weeks or so but on the daily time frame what we really see is that yes the price did come close to its 30 mark or 30 price level on the RSI and now it is once again what it is doing is it is challenging 
is that area that double top sort of over here so what we really need to see is that if the price is going to come and then it's going to break above this one or whether we will see the price reverting to this particular level so those are something that we kind of really got to be careful of or we should be looking at so either we're going to go to the upside over here or either we're going to go to the downside it's very much going to be determined between these two lines, this line and that line. And that will really tell us the which way the Dow Jones Industrial Average is really likely to move. That's all for now. Stay safe and I'll see you guys next week.